I'm gonna try and break The Sims today by attempting to build an entire functional livable space in just four tiles. I've successfully built three by three houses and made functional spaces in just nine tiles, but I have never dared attempt to build an entire house in just a two by two room. This is just a really small space. I'm not even entirely sure that it's possible, but I am going to try. This is going to take a lot of like scooting things into the wall and sizing items down and then play testing to see if stuff still works. But I am going to fit as much as I possibly can into this tiny little room. I should probably make it a tiny house to start with because if we're gonna do this, we should at least get the perks. I think I'll try and pick a cute little front door too. I won't bother with the exterior yet because I gotta figure out if I can actually make this work first. Okay, BB dot move objects on. That is the first step. I'm wondering if we put a bed like in the wall at all, if it's actually still possible to use it. Obviously it's clipping out of the room, but I wanna see if we can manage like with at least one of the beds. Oh my God. Oh, that was a lot easier than I expected. Okay, well, Stanley can sleep in this bed then already. Let me see how much I can scoot it into the wall. Like if I put it further back on the side as well, if he can still get into it. Oh, okay. Well, that was like totally fine. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be harder. Okay, well, the bed works. That's easy. Which of these toilets is the smallest? I feel like this one is kind of the skinniest. And I feel like, oh no. <laughs> if I size the sink down, do you think it still works? I'll have to test that. I'm pretty sure that Sims are a little bit smarter than you think. I I think that they can still use this shower when it's like on top of the sink. I guess we'll find out. It's gonna be a little bit weird like visually because he's kind of standing and clipping into the sink, but I don't really care about that part. I just care that he can actually use it and he can. He can definitely use this sink as well. I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about the toilet, but Oh, are you serious? Okay, well he used that fine. I wonder if we can try and like scoot things over more. I feel like my best bet is probably to try and just scoot this as much as it allows me to. I'm gonna need to figure out a way to get like a fridge in here somehow and maybe a microwave if we're lucky. Are there any smaller sinks? I feel like I need to compare the size of every single one of these just to make sure I'm using the tiniest one. I don't think the other options are much better. Although this one is like a circle. I guess it has more at the base though. This one's a pedestal. So that's nice, but a couple of these have nothing under them, which might be better It's just the like top of that is way too big. Yeah, I shouldn't use that. Oh, it's gone. Wait <laughs> The toilet disappeared. I was trying to scoot it into the wall and I like ruined it. No, honestly, where did it go? It didn't give me money back for it. What? Okay. Well, <laughs> this is not good I don't want the toilet to disappear I want to see like just how far into the wall I can put it and have him still be able to use it We're gonna have to keep testing this and like keep scooting as much as possible and and like see what the limit is basically because he uses it kind of fine when it's in the wall. I'm still scooting. You could still use that even? How is that even possible? It's clipping out the back of the room. It's gonna start clipping out the side of the room soon. But I don't really care. As long as it works, I'm fine. And it somehow still works. I wonder if I should make it so that he pees sitting down just to make sure that he can still use it sitting down. I'm not sure that that should matter, but just in case I'm gonna have him test it. I guess it would be easier to pee into the corner when you're standing up than if you was actually trying to sit on this toilet. Can you still use it now? Oh, he can't. Okay, he sits just in the wall. That's fine. I don't really care how it looks. I more just care about like what I can fit into here. How, how does that still work? I'm like really impressed actually. <laughs> like genuinely impressed that it still works. I'm gonna keep scooting it. Wow, okay. Well, I'm not worried about the toilet anymore because that seems like it's gonna be fine. Maybe I can pick some kind of fun tile to put like on the wall of the bathroom and then we can put that sink back. I'm not sure how far I should scoot the sink because part of me wants to just use like all of the open space that I have here, but I also think that would probably be silly of me to do. I'm gonna have to see how much more I can scoot this into the wall too, because I'm gonna need this space for something. I wonder if I can scoot the toilet back over a little bit more, just because it'll look a bit better. Can you still use that? Oh, okay. He can. You can wash your hands. You can shower. Test it. There we go. Okay. Bathroom's functional. I was thinking I might try and put a mini fridge in here, but this thing is enormous and it takes up like an entire tile, so I wanted to see if it worked when it was sized down. I don't know if you can size it down twice or if it just needs to be once, but I'm gonna try. Can you like grab some animal crackers out of that? No? Oh no. Okay. Is it because of the space or is it because it's sized down? Have a quick meal. Chips. Where did he go? Oh, I'm lost. Okay, maybe he can't get in there. No, he can stand in there. Why, why can't you get into this? Cereal? No? Does it work outside? Come on, try now. Okay, so it is the room. Well, if that actually doesn't work, that's really gonna cause some problems for my plants. <laughs> I wonder if I could like scoot it into the wall and not size it down, just like how the other things worked in the wall. Can you get some cereal now? Oh, oh, he can use it scooted back. Okay, that helps. I wonder how far I can scoot it back and have it still work. Try again. Stanley, cereal. 
Let's go. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually fine. <laughs> if it works in the wall, I could probably even put a microwave on top of it. I mean, it looks ridiculous. And we're gonna need to put some like bushes or something back here to hide it on the outside. But it seems like it works. Do you want a microwave like some chicken nuggets? Come here, try this. He did it. Oh, we can't use the microwave. Okay, well, that's fine. I understand. <laughs> I can see why the microwave wouldn't work. Is that a plate? Oh, weird. Okay, let's try again. Microwave a pepperoni pizza roll up. Come on, can you? No! Okay, well, he doesn't need the microwave. I wonder how far forward it has to be for the microwave to work. Because honestly, I'm kind of open to trying and like scooting it over and over again. But if the microwave's actually not gonna work, at this point, it's like barely in there. So whatever. No microwave. Sorry, Stanley. I can put this back like as far as I had it before. <laughs> also, can you actually get in and out of this room still? I forgot to test that. Can you leave? Oh, okay, he can. He's fine. I wonder if I could try and redo the front door situation. I'm kind of thinking that it might be fun if we tried to get a desk here. I've done this kind of thing in like past tiny houses where I've put tables on top of the bed and it somehow still works. So I'm kind of wondering if I could do that here. Obviously, it's a little bit tight, <laughs> but I'm wondering if I could try. I'll have to see if he can still get in the bed, obviously, but okay, he can still use the bed. Can you use the computer? Uh, play Blake Block. Test it. No. Okay, he can't. I guess that makes sense because it's it's really clipping. <laughs> actually, I wonder if it's because of this or if it's because of the desk clipping. I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna try again without the fridge there and see if it works. Play Blick Block. Can you sit? Oh, we can sit. Okay, use the computer. Oh, oh. <laughs> How does that work? How is that possible? Okay, I'm gonna scoot it over like as far as I can and we'll see if it still works. Play Blick Block. Okay, sit. He's kind of weird about it. I have to tell him to sit first, but it does work. So let me see if I can put the fridge back. I'll just see like how far I can scoot it and have it still work. Do you want to try to have a quick meal again? Okay, you can like video games, Stanley. <laughs> oh no, we can't get up. Okay, how, why can't you use it? Is it too far in the wall or is it because it's in the corner? Cheese crackers? No, oh, it was working so so well before. Okay, I ruined it. I think it's the chair. I don't think it's possible to get like a smaller chair. <laughs> I think the chairs all have the same depth to them. Like they're all gonna come the same amount back. So I guess it's just a question of whether or not I can put this farther back into the wall. Maybe I could use a laptop instead. That honestly feels like it makes a little bit more sense anyway. But that way it's clipping a little bit less. Can you get it now? No? Can you use this? Stanley, please. I'm literally begging you. I've put a lot into this. I have spent like 17 whole minutes on this, okay? This is serious. Why can't you get into the fridge? I don't understand what changed about this. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of struggling to understand what's happening here. I wonder if I put it like this or something. Can you still use the toilet? No. Oh, this stupid fridge. Things were going so well before. And I need to have a door. <laughs> I can't just not have a door. That's kind of important. I can't even tell what's causing it. I think that it might be like the footprint of the desk. Where did I go? Okay, do you wanna try canned juice? No? Why? Why not? This game is stressing me out. It was going so well and now it's just all gone completely downhill. I was really getting excited and now it just doesn't work. You can still get into the bed, right? Okay, the bed still works. I wonder how much further I can scoot the desk back and have it still work. Cause if we can't have the shelf above it, I don't really care. It's more just like, oh, that would be kind of cute. But if I can make it work with a smaller desk instead, I literally don't care how much it's clipping. Like that doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I just want it to work. We can worry about visuals another time. This is like exclusively about how it functions. I've got a little bit more space now. So I wonder if he can, no, Stanley. Okay, step back. Come here. Can you not even move? Okay, well, that's a new problem. <laughs> he doesn't even move. Stanley, come here. Can you get out? Okay, he can get out, but the routing is messed up inside. Come back for your animal crackers. Oh my God, Stanley, it's not that hard. The fridge is right there. You did it before. Does everything else still work? Like, okay, you can still pee and stuff. So I think that it might have to do with like the distance that the chair needs. This definitely doesn't work size down, right? That's just not a thing. No, not even outside. Oh, <gasps> wait. Oh my God, it works size down that time. Oh, okay. That kind of changes things. <laughs> that makes this different. If I size it down again, can you still use it? Like if it's tiny? Come here. <gasps> oh, wait, that really changes things. I thought it didn't work size down. I wonder if I could put it like next to the bed. We can pretend it's a nightstand. Let me see if he can use that still. Get some canned water. <gasps> oh my God, it worked. Oh, that, that makes absolutely no sense. But I, oh, that's kind of cute. Put his little drink right there. Okay, well, it's not gonna stay. What? I can't put it in my inventory. Are you kidding? Stanley, I... <laughs> I don't have time for this. I am really struggling to understand how that is possible, but somehow it worked. Do you think the microwave would work like that? I know this is really weird, okay? I'm just, I'm just seeing. Like maybe the microwave thing was a problem because of the amount of space that we had. No way. <gasps> 
How does that, how? Okay, weird visual glitch. Somehow that works. <laughs> you can use the microwave like that. Okay, whatever, that's fine, that's fine. You can still get into the bed. Oh, he's eating his breadsticks. He can sleep. How is that possible? Well, let me see about some of these other things. Like if I raise this TV and speaker thing up on the wall, do you think he can still use it? And can he still get into his desk? Okay, you can sit there. Can you watch something? Okay, you can sit in bed and watch it. Can you read something? Okay, he got a book out. <laughs> can you listen to something? Oh my god, it works. Oh, this is so good. This item, by the way, being a TV, bookshelf, and a speaker is really useful. But also, it like somehow miraculously functions in here, so I am very pleased with that. I think I might make the fridge white. I don't know, do you think if I tried to raise up an item, like on top of it, to fill the space so the microwave isn't floating? I guess we could pretend the microwave is like mounted on the wall or something, but it is kind of bugging me, the floating. Oh, oh, wait, okay, you know what I could do is I could put a shelf. That might actually be really good. I don't know if he can still sleep there, but the shelf could be kind of a cute touch. If the shelf blocks him from sleeping, okay, I was gonna say, there's no way it blocks him. <laughs> After everything this guy can do, if the shelf stops him, I'm gonna be mad, but no, he's fine. He can still sleep there. Not really sure how, but somehow he can. We could probably even put like some cute kitchen clutter there. Like that's his kitchen counter. And that makes the microwave actually make sense. But we could give him like paper towels. Maybe he could have like some utensils. Plant could be nice. Okay, these actually take up a little bit more space than I thought they would. I feel like the scale of the microwave has kind of thrown me off here. I thought these would be a lot smaller, but that's okay. He can have some small utensils and I guess like some paper towels. That's actually really cute. I won't lie. I kind of like that. Oh my gosh, everything feels like really thrown off. The scale is like surprising me. I keep putting things down and being like, whoa, that window's huge. No, <laughs> the room's just tiny. I think I want to put a window right here, like kind of next to the bed, just to make it feel a little bit bigger in here. <laughs> it makes it a bit more open. I bet we could put the tile like all the way across the back wall because it's kind of like the kitchen and the bathroom. Would it be silly of me to try and place like some clutter on top of this bathroom sink? It might be because there's like nowhere for it to actually actually sit, but it can rest very precariously on the corner. I don't think I can fit a towel because it's kind of too big, but there is some bathroom clutter, like this kind of thing that might be a nice touch. Like we could put that kind of on the wall there. Maybe we could have a mirror like behind the kitchen or something. That's a little bit big though. We also have like this kind of item. Oh, can't size it down. Sorry, forgot it was a mirror. <laughs> that glitches. But one of these like sort of thin mirrors, like that one's kind of flat. That might look okay somewhere, even if we put it like on this wall back here, it could be kind of nice. I'm trying to think what else we might need because like he can eat, he can even eat microwave meals. Like he can pee, he can shower, he can wash his hands and his dishes. He's got a computer, he's got a TV, he's got a bookshelf. Like he can kind of do everything. We need a mirror or a dresser or something so that he can change clothes. At this point, I feel like it makes more sense to have a mirror than a dresser because we can just put it on the wall. But we also do have a dresser that would fit in here. So it might be worth putting it there just like for fun. Oh my gosh, wait, like the mugs? Let me move this shelf for a second. I wonder if we could, ooh. Okay, they're trying to slot on top of this, like on top of the fridge, but obviously the fridge is tiny now. We could probably put the mugs like on top of the fridge there. Okay, and then I have to delete these extra ones that I placed to try and fix the weird slotting. How, can I even do that? <laughs> I want those gone. <laughs> it's glitched because of the microwave. Okay, microwave goes back. We size it down twice. Let me put this back. Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted. We could always use like this sort of item or even just like a calendar above the desk. That kind of comes in the green scheme we've been going for, so we could use that. This item really is a game changer though, because I keep thinking like, oh, I could put the books on top of the dresser. I don't need to, I've already got books here. Now I'm kind of trying to think about like what sort of skill things could I fit, but I can't really very easily fit like, I don't know, a flower arranging table. I wonder if I could manage to put like a guitar in here or something. I'm not sure if that would glitch anything, but do you think, okay, he can use the guitar. Can you still sit in the chair? Oh, he put it in his inventory. <laughs> Stanley, we were trying to test this. The answer is yes though. He can use the guitar and he can sit in his chair. So that might be kind of fun. That's kind of like a nice detail. I feel like the phone and keys are kind of a cute touch. And honestly, maybe even like the little wall hook from the kit, that's kind of tight in here, but that's sort of cute. Or like the bags, he would probably need bags so we can like, you know, go to the grocery store or whatever. <laughs> wall storage makes sense for this. 
this so we could have those. I did forget to give him like a real flooring so we can have regular hardwood everywhere else. Maybe I could just paint the walls white or something. I guess we do have a couple like nice swatches of greens. I could always use that one, but it doesn't need to be fancy with the walls. There's already a lot going on in here. We don't need to have like funky things happening on the walls too. I feel like I should give him like a painting or something. I'm kind of struggling with like how much of the wall space should I fill? Because part of me wants to put like seemingly functional items everywhere. Like let's put more shelves, let's put clothes to hang up. But also realistically, it's kind of busy in here. So we don't need to put things like everywhere. But there's so much stuff. Like there's that one shelf that looks like it's got clothing hanging on it, like this thing. I mean, we could try and put that stuff up top, but I don't know if it's necessary. I feel like this could actually be done, at least on the inside. I'm gonna quickly play test it again. Like he can sleep. Do you wanna try and get some food again? Oh no, we can't use it now. Oh, did I ruin it? Oh, it's these, it's the mugs. Wait, try it again. Oh no, <laughs> it stopped working. What did I do? What did I add? Is it the decorations? Can you still use this? No, 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 no. It might be the shelf. Oh, but I really liked the shelf. It looked so cute. Oh, do I have to delete it? I might have to delete it. It's okay if we do. Yeah, it was the shelf. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense because the shelf was like clipping in it. Maybe he put the canned water there again. Stop doing that. Maybe I should put some sort of desk clutter there. So we, he, I can't, it doesn't even slot to the same spot. Oh my God, whatever. You can keep your water on your desk if you want. It's fine. Would a different shelf work better? Was it the decor? And okay, no, it's the shelf. Okay. <laughs> It's the shelf. Maybe if I had a shelf not across the whole way, but like just a shelf over here, I don't think that would make a difference because technically that is still where the thing is. Oh, it did make a difference. This game is very weird. I don't, I don't know. You know what? That's fine. Just you do what you want. I'll, I'll let you place things where you want them. I won't get involved. It's fine. Oh, look, he's playing music on his own. Look at him go. Okay, so that still works. I tested the computer a second ago, but I'll do it again just in case. Okay. Oh, he's playing games on his own. All right, that's fine. Can you try on outfits? Yes, okay. Can you talk in the mirror? Yes, okay. You should be able to use all the bathroom stuff still, but I'll test it. Okay, it works. It works. Okay, everything in this tiny house works. I won't lie, it is a little bit weird from the outside. I'm not sure how much I can interfere with that without breaking things inside. I'm kind of nervous that if I like tried to put a bush there to hide the clipping, it would like break the toilet. We can definitely add a couple things out here to make it look a bit more like a house. A house is a strong word. <laughs> but you know, this is something. What if we tried to put like a slight fence or something there? I'm just trying to think of ways to hide the back. We could do this and then put like a couple bushes right there. Oh, oh no. Okay, that's being weird. But we can try and fill this in a little bit better. I guess I should probably also scoot it forward on a lot. It looks ridiculous back there. <laughs> it's so tiny. Okay, we got a mailbox and the bush and stuff. I'll probably just put like some brick on the outside. Nothing super fancy. It looks like a closet from out here, but inside it's like an entire Really functional house. I feel like just staring at this tiny space made it feel bigger as I was doing it. But now that I scroll out, I'm like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> That's really small. I'm gonna put this on the gallery now before I mess with it more and break something again. But here is the two by two tiny house. Emphasis on tiny. I think this might be one of the tiniest houses possible, but I'm not gonna say that because it probably could be made smaller. Did that even upload? I feel like it didn't pop up. Hello, gallery. Okay, there we go. I think it works now. It should be up now. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked this one, I've done a couple three by three tiny houses, but by comparison, those were like easy. <laughs> this was a whole different thing. So I can link those down below for you. And if you like The Sims, I make videos playing it literally every day here on my YouTube channel. So feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm actually so surprised the bed still works. Like the bed fitting in that two tile space is so weird to me, but I'm not complaining.